one other area around the future of Bitcoin use, because obviously not everybody can transact on chain, right? Like everybody's clear about that. And it may not even be possible that everybody can have their own lightning channel, at least today. Maybe with future technology, it may become possible. But I'm curious how you're thinking about some of these alternative ways that people are interacting with Bitcoin or looking at it. So, for example, there's Liquid, which is a federated sidechain. Uh, you can think of it kind of like a custodian kind of, but spread across the 15 functionaries. Uh, there's eCash, and there's kind of the single eCash form and the federated eCash form. Um, and there's just straight up custodial lightning as an example. I'm curious how you're looking at some of these methods of Bitcoin use uh, and wh- wh- what do you see uh, becoming prominent? Yeah. Well, first of all, I want to see all of them kind of grow and proliferate. And of course, we're all going to have debates on what the best, which one offers the best trade off for security versus privacy, et cetera. They're all going to have different trade offs. That's, that's a fact. Um, the level of security that you can achieve with a proof of work based blockchain that's globally adopted is unprecedented. But the bandwidth that that offers is limited by definition. Um, I think Greg Maxwell puts it really well when he says it's like a court system and, um, and the Bitcoin blockchain is the Supreme Court. It's the, it's the, the smartest, it's the most fair. Uh, of all courts, but it's also the most expensive place to settle a dispute. Um, and so these, these layer twos are going to be lower level court systems that work in a different way. And so it's polycentric law at work. It's really beautiful if you look at it that way. Um, so that's how I see this entire discussion. It's like you, you don't want as much as I'm a maximalist for, for Bitcoin, right? For, Bitcoin adoption, we only need one Bitcoin standard. I'm very much a pluralist when it comes to the layer twos. I think we need many systems and we need competition and we need arbitrage between them and money to flow from one to the other. Um, I've been vocal for years that I think the the liquid sidechain was undervalued and underappreciated. People were saying like, oh, nobody's using it and it's... Um, you know, there, there's not enough hackathons and, and there's, it's, it's too cumbersome. There were all kinds of, you know, not enough smart contracts, all kinds of things people were saying. And my feeling was that this is something that is designed to flourish when fees are really high. And, um, uh, there was another reason. Well, maybe also when privacy is really valued, uh, much more valued than before. Um, and so like a, like an Ethereum is very bad for privacy, for example, uh, but people didn't care. And so they would use it anyway. And then the Bitcoin blockchain for a long time had low fees. And so people were like, oh, let's just, everyone is going to go on lightning. It's the, the future. Uh, we can all open lightning channels. And then it's like, oh, really? Like 8 billion people are going to open lightning channels on the mainnet. So, so, uh, you know, I, I feel like finally liquid is getting the attention it deserves. Uh, it's a very powerful platform, but it's not the panacea. It's not going to solve everything. Uh, there's also the arc proposal I've heard of. Um, Alex Bergalex was, um, excited about that. And, um, yeah, I mean, uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe this is still very early age, the layer two. Like we, we've been thinking that we, we solved it all, but maybe there's more to it. And people are saying that, yeah, maybe lightning will have a different role in this ecosystem than we previously thought. Right. And I think the lightning part is a, a different understanding than in the earlier days of lightning, where maybe the common understanding was just, oh, yeah, everyone can run their own node. Whereas now, I think the use for lightning is being better understood, you know, and, you know, maybe some of us were wrong, right? Like I, I probably, I think I had the wrong impression um, that I think it's going to be more used in a B2B context. And although, of course, I want as many people to be non-custodial as possible, I also accept that there will be a lot of custodial lightning users. And, you know, I can't, uh, you know, shaking my fists at the, at the stars is not going to change that. Um, that there will be a lot of people who simply cannot afford to go on-chain. And so they will use some kind of custodial solution, whether that's custodial lightning. And lightning may become more like this kind of interoperative layer or interconnective tissue between the different layers, whether that's people on Arc, people using eCash and Fedimint sort of things, and people using Liquid, and people on Light, and just people natively using lightning. 
and there may be these kind of swap providers who help you kind of swap between uh, the different solutions, maybe that's what the future yeah. looks like. 